Welcome to Dimitri Stafik Show 16. And today, we're gonna to be talking about why you need to sell yourself during interviews and why you should avoid being double submitted for the same role. Now, the first thing is why you have to sell yourself. Now, I thought of that it would be self-evident, but you would be surprised how many candidates do not do this. They might have 15, 20 years of experience, even five in the field, and they have a master's degree, uh, all the certifications, but they don't sell themselves, and the higher manager does not know that they are a good fit. They, all that the higher manager sees is your resume, and on your resume, they just read the first page, if that. They don't know much about you. So definitely sell yourself. I thought it was self-evident, but I was wrong, because many candidates do not do this, and I have to tell them before the interview to sell themselves. Now, if you sell yourself, you will increase enthusiasm that the higher manager feels that you have for the role. And in my experience, the more enthusiasm you have for the role, the better chances you get the job. The candidate that has the most enthusiasm is the one that gets the role. However, if you don't sell yourself, like they say in New York, forget about it. You're not gonna get the job. So the second thing I wanna talk to you about is why double submissions are bad. First, let's talk about why people do double submissions. They think if they are submitted twice by, by two staffing firms, then it's double the time that the higher manager looks at their resume. And they think that helps them. Nothing could be further from the truth. Do not do that. Why? Because hiring firms have contracts out with multiple staffing firms and if you are submitted twice and the hiring firm hires you then they are obligated to pay twice two different firms for you nobody wants to pay twice for the same thing if it's an apple let alone it is a person commission so do not do that now i understand the allure why people do this they want to be submitted twice because it's free advertising. That means you are twice as likely to get in front of the hiring manager and maybe they'll look at you more and hire you. Um, maybe you'll be in their mind. But nothing could be further from the truth because they will avoid you like the plague when they know that you have been submitted twice and they have to pay twice for you. My advice is when you talk to staffing firms, find out the name of the client and if it's a client you have already been submitted to respectfully tell them to not submit you so you avoid the situation thanks for watching Dimitri Staffik show 16 do not forget to subscribe to watch more episodes and stay tuned for our next episode